And top intelligence leaders are challenging reports that the U.S. has been monitoring phone calls by millions of Europeans. The National Security Agency Director General Keith Alexander testified yesterday on Capitol Hill that European spy agencies actually shared those phone records with the U.S. To be perfectly clear, this is not information that we collected on European citizens. It represents information that we and our NATO allies have collected in defense of our countries and in support of military operations. At another hearing, National Intelligence Director James Clapper was asked about surveillance of America's allies. Clapper said Washington had monitored world leaders for decades. He also said America's friends spy on the United States. Some of this reminds me a lot of the classic movie Casablanca. My God, there's gambling going on here. You know, it's the same kind of thing. <laughs> Senior correspondent John Miller is a former deputy director of national intelligence. John, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Now, well, that's that a pretty Clapper, good line. <laughs> that Clapper analogy is the same one I used on Monday. So either uh, we think alike or he's a viewer. <laughs> <laughs> Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't, and, and, and in the name of full disclosure, he was my old boss before this job. So, so. you think alike. <laughs> well, something like All right, that. Well, let me just go to the point here. Uh, so they, we do it to them. They do it to us. Is there something special about Germany and Chancellor Merkel that makes them want to pay more attention to her? Charlie, the answer is no. If you sit in the president's daily briefing every day, the hot button items are terrorism, nuclear proliferation, um, a lot today about the situation in Syria. Germany doesn't really come up, nor does Merkel. There are times when uh, there's a strategic issue that comes up where Germany's position might be an issue. And somewhere buried in the PDB, there might be some analysis. This is finished intelligence. What you take off of somebody's phone is raw intelligence. And in that analysis, it may say signals intelligence indicates that Merkel is saying to supporters, uh, she's going to go this way on this, or mm -hmm. Germany may go that way. The president doesn't even know where that came from unless he thinks to ask. But generally, um, it's not a top of the pile item, Germany. No offense to Germany. Mm -hmm. The headline that we learned, of course, is that this accusation that we collected 60 million phone calls in a month from Spain, when actually they pushed back pretty hard on this, saying actually the Europeans gave us that information. Why such hard pushback on that? Well, I think, first, why the delay? I think they had to go to these allied countries and say, we share this information. We're going we're gonna to ask to disclose that. And they said, OK, go ahead. So this is something you and I talked about the other day. If you watch Homeland, if they hit Abu Nazir's safe house and they grab a cell phone and they say, we haven't seen this cell phone, but it may be Abu Nazir's, the first thing you want to know is who it's talking to. First, you dump what's in the cell phone. The second thing you want to do is, where is it talking to? Is it talking to people in the United States? Is that a plot to blow up something in America? So you run that against the phone data that they collect to say, what numbers has it spoken to in the United States? And Spain and other countries want to get in on that. So they're saying, we don't have the servers to save billions of phone records. But if we give them to you and you put them on our servers, when you run that terrorist cell phone, can you also tell mm -hmm. us is it talking to somebody in Spain? Do we have the next Madrid bombing coming up? Mm -hmm. It's a service we provide. Okay, back to this issue that everybody does it to everybody. What about the Russians and this little device that they gave? The <laughs> okay, so at the G20 <laughs> summit, the Russians gave out um, a goodie bag, and it had all kinds of cool stuff for the G20 <laughs> delegates. One of the things it had in it was one of these new phone chargers. Now, this is the one I like. It's the, it's the, uh, the Mophie. Um, I'm going to be taking over for the CNET guy now. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but when you have a device like this that you plug into your phone, it's supposed to put juice into the phone. But it can also take data out if it's been reprogrammed. So yeah. this, first of all, any G20 delegate who goes and takes a goodie bag that has something you can plug into your phone, the other thing they gave out was a thumb drive to plug into your computer, um, immediately needs to either throw that away or give it to somebody they don't like. Uh, when a country where the president is the former head of the KGB has guys going around saying, please have present for you his phone charger. <laughs> give, give, it, give it to your friend Charlie. So, Here, plug this into your computer just for at least five minutes. <laughs> but, but when you plug this into the phone, so, so the answer, what's it for? Yeah. Anything that you can plug in uh, to a port that moves data can take data out. But that really works. Yeah. You oh, really can spy on someone with one of those things. And it can charge their phone. It's uh, a dual-purpose dual device. So 
well, if you want to. So where can I get one of those? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what, it, but what it's for is it'll download the contacts, it'll download the numbers, yeah. and in that it will give the intelligent service that's that's giving out this Trojan horse the tools to get other yeah. selectors, more, more on other this, numbers more they can on get this about. perhaps tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Moving this on. Morning.